Hello, welcome to the Sound of Science, the place where we deconstruct unscientific bogus and silly scams. Let's go get them. Hello, you wonderful people. As I so often state on this channel, delusions go hand in hand. People who tend to believe in the existence of a god are often receptive to all kinds of bullcrap like flat earth, creationism, faith healing, hand reading, astrology and paranormal nonsense. We all know flat earth Chris, CC. And from many of his videos, we know that he believes that the earth is flat. And that is because God designed it that way. He also believes that space doesn't exist and that we live in the matrix. Now, of course, I shouldn't be surprised, but I discovered a video on his channel showing that Chris also is a COVID denier. And they're not just a COVID denier who thinks that the COVID vaccination program is some kind of evil conspiracy. No, Chris actually states that COVID, being the virus, does not exist. You know, the virus of which the existence has been confirmed by all virologists in every country all over the world. Yet Chris says no, that virus does not exist. No arguments, no evidence, just the usual silly nonsense claims. And he even is very angry about this. Have a look at this. I think I even have to throw in a few beeps here to tone down the language a bit. This thing that must have been floating around in the air that was airborne that's being over and over again inside of your air filter being blown into your face but yet they're gonna walk around with bunch of face mask over something that fucking doesn't exist fuck you YouTube over something Fuck it! Doesn't exist! So, how does this work? How can it be that a guy like Chris is egoing his own bullcrap perpetually without ever bumping into a point where he realizes his own insanity? That is, because people like Chris repel everyone with a normal pattern of behavior and thinking. The only ones who stay with him are those who might depend on him. And I surely hope those are as few people as possible. Or those who have the same mental condition. People like Chris operate in an ever smaller bubble of like-minded fools who do not refute each other and who hardly have any meaningful communications with the rest of society. I don't think that someone like Chris will ever change. And my videos are not meant to alter his thoughts. Chris is way too far gone. We can't save him anymore. But I do notice that I get many comments under my videos from people who have escaped their religious, COVID-denying, paranormal and flat earth bubbles of insanity. And many of them explain that videos on YouTube have helped them to return to reality. I'm just a small YouTuber, but just like anyone else, I can contribute a bit to spreading a message of science, facts and evidence. A message of not just believing claims, but rather questioning them. A message of critical thinking and distrusting those who use some kind of faith to ask for money. And together with all of your comments, we create a channel that might be helpful to some people who need a little push to step out of their delusion. So, despite Chris being looney tuned to the core, perhaps there are people in his circle of delusion or in other troubled families or groups who have doubts or fears about stepping out of this cage of insanity. Maybe they depend on some influential flat earther for their income or housing, or perhaps they've been drawn into this madness step by step and are now discovering that the way out is not so easy to find. I think it's up to the rest of us to keep being vocal about this nonsense. We should keep refuting flat earth nonsense, COVID denial, paranormal insanity, and religious charlatan bogus, because everyone who returns 
returns to the real world might be thankful for that for the rest of their lives. I'm just a guy making videos, but perhaps together we can make a bit of a difference for people who need it the most. So, thank you for all your comments, thoughts, ideas, examples, your inspiration. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.